Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yasha, if you're new here. Today, I'm going to be going over some of the pros and cons of radiology. So if this is interesting to you, please keep watching. So let's start off with the pros. One of my favorite things about radiology is that it's just never boring. You're always seeing something new, something interesting. I mean, every single thing that you open, when, whenever you open a new study, it's always something interesting, something different, something that maybe you haven't seen before. Even if it's something that is very common, like appendicitis, you might see it present in a different way. You might see something slightly different about it. It's just never boring. And of course, like appendicitis is one example, but you're going to see within one day, you might see cancer staging studies. You might see common things that are common, like appendicitis, colitis, things that kind of ail people on the day to day, Crohn's disease. You might see, um, more interesting syndromic things, like you might see a person with tuberous sclerosis, you might see, I mean, it's just endless, right? And that can all be within the span of like four hours, you're gonna see all of those different things. And, I think, and that's actually something that makes call very interesting. I mean, the call is very difficult, and we're gonna talk about that later in the video, but I will say that it's never boring. You're always seeing something interesting, something new, and it always feels really good to make that diagnosis. So for me, that's one of my favorite parts of radiology is that it's just never boring. Not only is there a lot of variety in the cases that you see from day to day, but there's also so much variability in what your career can look like. If you're someone who wants to see patients, which is kind of like me, then you have the ability to do that. You have the ability to do procedures, you have the ability to see patients in a breast cancer clinic, for example. You have the you have the ability to do procedures all day if you're doing interventional radiology. And if you're someone who kind of would rather stay back and not do those procedures, there's also that. You can just do diagnostic radiology and sit in the reading room and kind of consult with other physicians rather than actually going and speaking to patients. So I think a lot of people have this misconception that radiology is really boring and you're going to not have any patient or person interaction and that's just totally false. Even on the days where you are re in the reading room, you have so much like human interaction with other physicians, with other radiologists. I mean, there's always kind of people coming in and out, calling down to the department, asking you questions, even your staff, like the technologists, everyone becomes your friend and it's really a fun work environment. So I really like that I have the ability to kind of tailor my career to whatever it is that I'm looking for. And that kind of brings me right into my next pro, which is the flexibility. Radiology is really nice in that like, when you're at work, you're kind of working really hard, but when you go home, you do have the ability to just kind of disconnect from your work a little bit. And I think that's really unique because in medicine, a lot of times you do end up bringing those patients home and you really worry a lot about your patients. And, and that's gonna be true even in radiology to a certain extent. However, it is nice that you can sort of disconnect because there's someone else at work who's kind of taking over that role for you. And I think that's pretty unique and pretty nice about radiology. Not just that, but there's also so much flexibility in what your work can look like. So you can do teleradiology where you work remotely, you work from home, which is nice. Um, you can you know, be front and center, you can be the person in the hospital, you can be the person running the clinics. So there's just a lot of different ways you can tailor your career to make it something that you're happy with and something that you're looking for. And I really, really appreciate that about radiology. And something that, and something that has really kind of changed with the current times where people are becoming more and more used to working from home, doing telemedicine, et cetera. That's been one of the biggest like advantages of being in radiology right now. Another one of my favorite things about radiology is the community. Radiology is very supportive. Everyone is so nice, and that's really not an exaggeration. I know that maybe some of you are kind of going on your interviews and you're like, is everyone really this nice? Yeah, everyone really is that nice. It's kind of crazy, but radiology is very supportive. It really does not have that malignant um, nature to it. Everyone really wants you to succeed. It's just a very welcoming community, and so that's really one thing that I appreciate about radiology, and not something that I knew personally before I entered the field, and really not something that I appreciated either, because being married to a surgeon, I know that it's kind of a different community for him, and surgery is really a different world, but radiology, everyone wants to help you succeed, and I don't think that that's true of every specialty, so that's really something that I would consider a major pro of going into radiology. It's just no matter where you go, the people are so nice. Another pro of radiology is that there is so much technology that is expanding so fast and it's very exciting to kind of be on the front of that and see how quickly things are changing in medicine. I know that everyone right now really believes that AI is gonna take over radiology, etc. If you still believe any of these things, please watch my video on radiology myths and also AI and radiology. 
but it's just actually more exciting than, you know, scary. I think that it's going to be really fun for us to be able to work with all of these new technologies, work with the AI and make ourselves more accurate, make ourselves better radiologists, provide more efficient care for our patients and for our providers. So I'm really excited about it. And I think the research that's going on is very exciting. There's just so many ways to get involved, whether you want to get involved in industry. It's just a really exciting field of medicine right now. And I don't think that that's going to change anytime soon. So for me, that's a major pro because I really think you can find your niche in that crossroads between technology, innovation, and medicine. And I think that's a really fun place to be as someone who's just starting their career. While I could talk about radiology and how much I love it forever, I think that the last thing I'm going to wrap up on for pros in this video is just that the work is super rewarding. I will say that radiology is oftentimes the first person to make the diagnosis. You really affect patient care in a significant way. I mean, everyone that comes to the ER almost everyone gets imaging of some sort and that really guides the management, right? Whether the patient has a fracture, whether they have appendicitis, like I said, whether they have colitis, all of these things are kind of a big question mark until they have their imaging and we tell them, no, this is like a fracture that will require an orthopedic follow-up. This is a fracture that will require, you know, someone to come see him right now, things like that. Like this is a surgery console, you know, these are all things that kind of radiology has a big impact on and something that a lot of people don't realize. So we really affect patient care, whether it's cancer staging, whether it's someone in the ER, et cetera. And I think, that is, I think this is really exciting because you could be the first person to make the diagnosis. And sometimes patients with syndromes, for example, who have not already had a diagnosis, like if they have rheumatoid arthritis or any of anything autoimmune, you know, you may be the first person to make that diagnosis. And so I think it's very exciting to be that person, to be really involved with the patient care. And it, a lot of it happens on the back end where you're talking to the physician who's taking care of that patient. And I think that interaction you may miss if you don't do a radiology rotation or if you're not like actively involved in radiology, but it's there and that's really a big component of our day. And so for me, that's like one of my favorite things about radiology is just being the person to make the diagnosis and affect patient care in that way. So now talking about the cons of radiology, some of the things that frustrate me the most about radiology as a whole. I think one of them is definitely that a lot of people think that they can do your job and then that makes them not really appreciate what it is that we do. And so obviously for me, that's kind of why I've taken to YouTube and why I'm posting on social media so much about like what we do, because I really feel like it's not well understood. And when things are not well understood, people really believe that they can do your job. So, I mean, I'll give you an example. I literally met someone for the first time. I, like, I have never met them in my life. It's a surgeon. And I don't have any connection to this person. And I'm just like, oh, hi. Yeah, I'm a radiology resident. And, like, immediately he's like, oh, yeah, I can read CT scans. He's like, MRI, I can't read. But I can read CT scans. And it's just, like, shocking to hear someone kind of just talk about your profession in that way. You know what I mean? Because you're like, can you? I don't know. It took me, like years to kind of figure out how to read a CT scan. That's pretty amazing that you're able to do it while also performing surgery. And I think it's funny because I don't think that radiologists often pretend like they can do anyone else's job, but radiology, for some reason, a lot of people feel like they can do our job. And so that's a kind of a frustrating thing for me. Like, I understand that people can read x-rays in the sense that they can tell that there's something new or there's something, like we can all look at the images, but claiming to do someone else's job, I think something that's very kind of unique to radiology. And I just feel like it's so false because if someone really were to do our job, I think they would realize how difficult it is and how challenging it is like all the stuff that we do. So for me, that's kind of a major <laughs> point of frustration. But again, re the reason why I do what I do and I love to educate others on everything that we do just to kind of avoid that, avoid that frustration for me. Kind of going along with that, there's so many misconceptions about radiology. So the one that I was kind of referring to earlier is that our work is easy and that anyone can do it, which is obviously not true. You know, we have four years of residency plus a fellowship on top of an intern year. So it's usually about six years of training at the very least. Um, but other than that, there are so many other misconceptions, right? Like, oh, you guys are so antisocial or, oh, you're too social to go into radiology um, or that the work is easy or that we just sit downstairs in the basement and drink coffee and talk all day. I mean, these are all misconceptions about radiology that I've heard numerous times from various people and they are all false. I mean, we are not sitting down serious, just twiddling our thumbs. We are often kind of knee deep in work as soon as we walk in the door. And in terms of like being antisocial, this is 
absolutely not true. I think a lot of us really enjoy the human aspect of radiology where we do get to tell our patients what's going on, where we do procedures, where we are the ones that are kind of in charge of those things. We run a lot of multidisciplinary conferences, for example. Like, I think that these are all things that people don't understand about radiology. And so for for that, for me, that's another, um, it's another con, just that there's just not a lot of education about radiology in medical school. And I think if there was, people would definitely have a little bit more insight into what we do. So again, that's why I do what I do here. And of course, going along with that, like I said, people think that we kind of sit around and do nothing all day when the reality is, is that our job is very stressful. Um, we are responsible for every single image in a stack of a CT scan, which can be thousands of images, right? In every reformat. You're looking at things in the axial reformat, in the sagittal, in the coronal, and you're responsible for everything on that study. And that can be stressful. I mean, not just that, but like I said earlier in the video, the utilization of imaging is just going up and up and up. And so our lists are getting longer and longer. I mean, we have so many studies to read every day. We're expected to go faster. We're expected to continue to be as accurate as possible. And I think that can be very stressful. It's really not an easy job. What we are expected to do is not simple. And it requires a lot of work and a lot of training. And so that's another con, just in the sense that it's a stressful job. It's really not like an easygoing thing that a lot of people seem to believe it is. You know, and maybe back in the day before imaging was as utilized as it is now, that may have been the case where people were a little bit more chill, laid back. The reality is that radiology really isn't what it used to be. And now there are a lot of demands placed on us, just like any other specialty, like internal medicine, where you're expected to see even more patients and less time. It's kind of the same thing in radiology. We're expected to read more cases, less time, just as accurate, just as good of a diagnosis. And so it's stressful. Um, and it's even more frustrating when people believe that your work is easy. On top of that, I would say the radiology call is really, really difficult. Um, luckily, we don't have to take that much call, and so it makes it kind of more bearable, but radiology is kind of the one specialty where no one is sleeping throughout the night. I mean, our CT scanners don't get to rest, our MRI scanners don't get to rest, and therefore we don't get to rest, right? Like, nobody is resting in radiology. Um, patients are constantly coming through the door, whether it's inpatients that are already in the hospital that need imaging, or people coming to the ER that need imaging. There is constantly, constantly imaging going on, and someone has to read that. And so for us, I would say overnight call is actually more stressful than our day-to-day, -day, which when I was rotating as a medical student and even as an intern, also the nights kind of have a different stress level when you're like on internal medicine, for example, because you are obviously covering a lot of patients, you're covering everyone's patients, but you're kind of there more for just like the emergencies that are going on for something really serious rather than kind of the day-to-day -day stuff. But in radiology, you're doing the same work that you do during the day. You're just doing it at night. And now there's, instead of like 20 people in the department, there is maybe one or two. And so you can see how all of that volume gets really pushed onto one or two people. It's just a lot of work. So radiology call, while we don't take that much, um, it's stressful. And it Probably one of my least favorite things about radiology residency is the call. But that being said, I know lots of people that love call. I mean, I actually do know people that enjoy the overnight call because you're seeing all the zebras, you're seeing everything that's coming through, and it can be interesting. You're interacting with lots of people. So I think there is a level of excitement there, but for me, I would prefer to you know, not have that excitement and just kind of do the work during the day. But it's a learning process. It helps us become more efficient. It helps us make better diagnoses. And at the end of the day, it's part of training. So. For me, that's definitely a con, is the call, it's it's tough. The last con I wanna talk about is something that, you know, I've really been doing my best to kind of combat, but that is the lack of diversity and kind of gender diversity, underrepresented minorities in radiology. I think all of that is really majorly lacking. And so for me, that's definitely a con of radiology right now. I am happy to see more women going into radiology. I hope people see my videos and feel like, oh, she, you know, she's a female person of color who's doing radiology, so I can do it too. I will say that there is no reason why radiology is not female friendly in the sense that you do, you do get work-life balance. You do get flexibility in your schedule. The people are super kind and supportive, obviously institution dependent, obviously department dependent, but I, I really think that there is no reason why there shouldn't be more women in radiology, except for the fact that there aren't already women in radiology. And sometimes you may not see that as a career path for you if all you see are people that don't look like you. And the same goes for URM. I just don't think that we're doing 
enough to kind of get our name out there in the sense that like this is an important specialty for everyone to consider. There is something for everyone here. And I do think that's co that continues to be a con for us and con continues to be a, point, a challenge to recruit, you know, people that would really add to our diversity. We all know that there are better patient outcomes when there are a variety, there's a diverse physician group taking care of them, you know? And so for me, that's really a major thing. I really think it's very important to get more diversity into radiology because I think we can do better in terms of patient care. We can create better programs to help reach even like more underserved communities. And I just, it kind of, it just pains me almost because I feel like there's just no reason why we shouldn't already have that. And this should have started years and years and years ago, but that's okay. You know, we're making the changes now. I just hope that if you are someone who's interested in radiology, the current lack of women in leadership, the current lack of URM in leadership does not discourage you from going into radiology because I know that the times are changing. I know that we are doing so much better than we used to be. It's not perfect by any means. I don't know what just happened. My video cut out. But in any case, I was just saying that I hope that people see that radiology is really a great career choice, not only if you are a female, if you are someone who identifies as a woman, if you are a URM. I really hope that you see my videos and you go on social media and see so many other people that look like you that are trying to make a difference in this one aspect of radiology. And um, yeah, that we're all kind of fighting the good fight and trying to make radiology a more diverse place. But anyways, I will get off my high horse here. I really love radiology. I think it's a great career choice for anybody, regardless of whether you are someone who you are extroverted, introverted, you like patients, you don't want to talk to patients, you no matter who you are, I think radiology is a great field and I am always happy to talk to people about radiology as a potential career choice. So anyways, I hope this was a helpful video. I hope that you are all safe during the holiday season and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Bye.